Hello everyone. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hello everyone, how are you doing tonight? It's me, Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. How are you, how are you all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. If not, well, I hope this stream helps cheer you up a little bit. Today is well, Monday, August 12th, 2024. And while we, well, I haven't checked about BTA as of late. Let me double check now. Oh, nope. Hasn't been updated yet. So, we're still waiting on that. And to fill in that whole thing, we're playing well, I'm Tale of Two Wastelands. Now, where we last left off is we were set up for. Uh, for. Uh, sorry. Just one second. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, post nasal trip. Hate that when that happens. Anyway, where we last left off is we were about to head to to the big mount complex. Isn't that just exciting? As you can see, we're going to be losing our brain, but of course it won't affect us because we're smart. S M R T smart. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? All right, let me just get into the game. I'll. Get the music. Actually, I'll get the music up and running right now. One second. Let's let's go with the Fallout radio here. This playlist, anyway. Actually, wait. Hold on. We're gonna need to mute it for right this second because of the whole thing here. Anyway, let's see how. Also, I really need to fix my armor. Hold on. Oh, I was wearing Mr. House's suit, that's why. The gun, on the other hand, really needs fixing. I'll stick with the hollow rifle, thank you very much. And here we go. Yeah, the this, this crash satellite seems to be the source of the strange transmission you received. Well, blah, blah, blah. You've had the premonition while you'll be there. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what the atomic wonders of science awaits. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space age out. Oh, I think I know what I forgot DNA to do. Hybridization, force field particle research, auto dock advances in crazy. That's what's missing. Sorry, <laughs> trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the Dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level.
Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution. Winning the war. For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. Hi, Yosa, how are you On doing? On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, oh, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Once we get to here, I will fix the music so I don't get copyright stricken. Okay, you feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Okay, Yosa, have fun lurking. Turn that off. Turn that on. There. Oh, so they removed my... Move, so they've done something to my head, and I still have my helmet on. Just great. Let's put it back on, then. In that case, just put the reading glasses on, and... Okay, <laughs> definitely need... Okay, there's a vending machine. There's a weapon mod vending machine. Before I go inside, might as well look around here. And in we go. Nice, bottle caps. And that's empty. Can't get out. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you and you cannot find cannot draw your weapons for some reason. Pacification fields kick in? All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, eight? Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... No. Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Okay, are you the ones that performed this surgery on me? Did... did it just say something? Anyone catch that? 
Mora, she work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dala, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Okay, I wake up here all cut apart, and now I want some answers. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to, the skin below once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it, the way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dala. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And... are those... penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Okay, hold up one finger, point at myself, point at them, hold up five. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Klein. Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are! As usual, Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? I'm get yes, I'm guessing the crash satellite was yours. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. It's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last. A chance to... Dr. Klein! A transmission from the Forbidden Zone! Coming right at us! It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools! Oh, it is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always.
is the same broadcast. He is clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Was ask the lobotomite for help? Eight, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. Okay, is that why I'm feeling so odd and heavy? We removed your brain, yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Oh, great. Brainless perk. Your brain's been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction. 25% resistance. And shock from bodily damage. 5% damage threshold, minimum of plus one. Yeah, eight, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. Okay, that... Well, that explains one thing. That does not explain the, suit, the laser sutures on my chest and on my spine. Darla. Was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First, was the heart. Heartless poker. Scars on your chest confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned. Filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all he healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are now confused by you and 50% likely to score a critical hit. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine's been replaced as well, your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage threshold has been increased by one. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. 
Okay, you've extracted my brain, but what do you mean by misplaced it? To be correct, you should say the Isle Dark took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. It worked so hard on your surgery, it destroyed its own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Foosh! That is the sound of flushing. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Okay, you... You said something about needing technologies to help stop Mobius? Yes. It is our only chance, a desperate plan that came to us after Mobius's first broadcast. Maybe, just maybe, if we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. Okay, what is exactly the plan? You're losing me in genera generalities. I need some specifics. The plan was very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. Okay. Why me? Well, can't you do it? Um, no. <laughs> no? Why not? You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands, and, uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Okay, this whole place sounds dangerous. These devices sound dangerous. Nonsense. This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And eight sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal. 
by ours. <coughs> Excuse me. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Okay, trust me, I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. And to you guys, it's a wink wink. We're taking our time. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly, guide you. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, experience. Nobel. Challenge. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. Okay. Guess I better get walking then. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and directly, yeah, directly. Okay, pylons? What pylons? The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Okay. Uh, I don't want to hear any more about that. Oh. Uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module! Okay. For the love of... Please stop fighting! It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses! So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projectile oh, wait. gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X-8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X-8, just as X-8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Okay, because Dad just sent me this. He decided to send me this 
Okay, it's a whole bunch of barbecue. <laughs> uh. Likes to send me barbecue. Oh, pictures of barbecue in the middle of streaming. I can't get away from it. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's unjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ding. Turkey's done. Oh! Give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Alright. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Okay. This Sonic gun looks like an en like, looks like an energy projectile. Got anything that spits lead? What did it say? Spits lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wooing. Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Okay. If there's nothing more, I need to stop Mobius. Fine, so, yes, get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Okay, I'll be, I'll head out and be back with these things. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes, thank you. Wait, is it leaving? But, Dr. Klein, the lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer. I'll my be right chamber, back, everyone. So it might be stared at. My monitor radar is slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse. Let other lobotomites in. We can give it Mobius's old room. This is where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. I'm back. <laughs> See what I did there? Went literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. 
That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. Okay. I could trade with... Okay, so I could trade with the sink intelligence and I'll need something to activate that... Nah, I don't feel like it. Alright, having a store available would be helpful if it has store connections, right? Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go man your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. There we go. I'll go install the sink. The sink. Say the CIU. Or C S S C I. C I U. Whatever. And there, it stalled. <laughs> I just had to break the had to break the thing for it. <laughs> Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Okay, what kind of services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods, sir, might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Okay, I like to buy some things. Very good, sir. Let's see what you got. Uh, let's see. I'd rather do this. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't touched it. There, clean. Okay, don't need anything else? See you later. Very good, sir. Okay, we're not gonna go directly finding everything. We're gonna find all the missing modules and whatnot. Okay, before I continue, let's put on some armor. We'll head this way. Okay, yeah, think tank, sink balcony. Go to the Y-17 medical facility. Let's see what we can find there. Intruder, it... you will not escape the eyes of my robo-scorpions, or their pincers. Oh, it's playing... There we go. Now we can get started with, uh, Fallout Radio. Oh, great. Radiation.
I'm at it. Discover that place. Okay, head on in. Stealth boy. Ah, Christine was here. That's where her brain got all scrambled. That's an auto dock upgrade. I'll take that. In here or floating around. Okay. I'll read. I'll check that out next time I'm here. I think we got everything right th for right in this second. Find out a bit later. Actually, I'm going to do one thing first. I am going to take care of that high school horror one because... Because I want to get the thing in order to open up the others things Okay, yeah, I'm just getting everything out of the way here. There we go. Packs. That's empty. There's nothing there. Let's see, what can we make? Let's place Lobotomite and Robot. Robo-brain. Who am I? I feel different. Awake. Alive for the first time ever. What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? No! And it promptly destroyed itself. Now let's just clear the splicing area. You have 
have insulted my honor, and for that, and robot. Okay, they've got the impulse wave on loan. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Mentats. Shovel. Vodka. Let's go inside the basic test. Get that right now. Dr. Principal Boros. You may know me as the head chief first researcher of labs Z9 and Z14. There I fought valiantly to preserve rattlesnake DNA and put it right where it belongs in the husk of another feared predator. Oh, and the tarantula horn. Can't splice enough, I always say. Especially if you can make a magnificent catador. Enough about me. It has come to my attention that many of you seemingly innocent children have been subverted by red propaganda. This is a most serious matter, requiring the most serious of detention. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sneak because I don't want to destroy any more of those robo of those cyber dogs. Wolverines. <laughs> Control system, which I don't think. Retrieve student records. Got him. That's not what I wanted. Oh well.
Ah, I didn't want to do that. been some sort of incendiary round. Okay, I'll cross here. Down at the end of the hall. Got the records. Oh shit. Run! Oh! Shit! Let's try this again. This time, I'm just running. <laughs> I'll explain poker. The residential test. This area clear for some reason the search protocol. This really it doesn't work that well. Ah, uh, no, I'll choose now. Let's go with... Um, let's get Animal Friend. This will help us in the long run. Done. that way. Kennel. No key.
What are you throwing? Startled me too. Rocks. The guy was throwing rocks. Down this way. Hey, I am sorry I put your brain in a bowl, boy. Oh, who's it? Here. Take the shish kebab. Dog of the bottom right. Yeah, I see what the reading in that. I can hear. Oh, excuse me. I can see what happened. They basically just um brought some night stalkers in. Go to the advanced test in a second. First, we'll start combining stuff. Let's splice the bottomite and dog. Chunky mess. That's the result. Okay, clear up the splicing area. Now I'm over, over encumbered. And lo and the bottomite and dog. Wait, wrong. Got the wrong one. Okay, the splicing area. That was supposed to be robot and dog, not yeah. the bottom of a dog. Oh, excuse me. Oh. I have to wait for it to restock. While well, we're at it. No. Get rid of the stuff I really don't need. Cool component. Wonder, can I summon? I'll summon the vertebird. Oh. Oh, the falcon. Force fields can only be disrupted by a specific frequency. If anyone has found the frequency, last seen around X8, let the dome know at once. Okay. Let's just deposit stuff. Don't need you. I'm keeping the infiltrator. Excuse me. 
actually keep the sniper rifle instead and the shotgun cyber dog gun keep in two stealth laser don't need gals rifle don't need yeah that don't need don't need there on the weapons front I need the rebound keep the steady on me to get rid of the turbo absent blah 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 Those on me. Don't need those. That. There we go. Better wait. And send it home. There, that's better. Okay, get the set. Well, that's. Nope. Empty. Nope. Tail rocking on. Come on! And now to get out of here before the <coughs> before the dog got me. Time for violence. Science. Okay, I need some a bit more um for the second. How will how will you do? Let's just go back to the hollow rifle. Advanced test. Attention students. This is the pre-recorded voice of your pre Got the EM pulse wave module.
There we go, pack rat. Acquired. The owl crap. One second, everyone. We got ourselves someone to delete. And banned. You don't advertise on my channel. You may suffer harm up to and including death if you remain here. There's no and says we got the thing. Now get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, that's really it for those. <clears throat> ah. Let's run. Let's run.
Let's just use the captain's sidearm. Oh, Night Stalker. Glad I picked that animal friend perk. Okay, I need to repair shit. First, I'll use... I'll use the weapon repair kits. So how's the chat do today? I hope you're all doing well. out the water. There we go. Let's break out the shotgun again. Chunky. I'll take the arc welder. Should be something down here. Ammo. Okay, light switch upgrade. Make stim packs. Throwable pro proton axes. Which one is it? X12 cleared out. Okay, next. No, oh, what? We're gonna go to the cuckoo's nest.
Oh, this was already upgraded. And let's repair with the other one. Did not mean to put the gun away. As, yep, that's a Saturday fist. I'm taking that. Take the 12 gauge. What was it that you had? Okay, 10 mil sump s SMG, okay. One second, I need to take care of That was easy. <laughs> Want that proton and Versalax. Okay, that's the toaster. <laughs> okay, next one will be the left field artillery. Are you? 
There you are. Accuracy by volume. <laughs> You know what? Let's fire off a bit of artillery here. And... Must have been a bad day for that person. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing anything right now, so I think we're gonna I think I might have to come back a bit later. Next stop, Saturnite Alloy Facility. We're just exploring right now and also trying to find any modules and whatnot for the sink. Oof. Again, accuracy by volume. Okay, I'll head over to the Saturday night facility in a second. Z-38. Lightwave Dynamics. Oh, holograms. You know what? Let's step into this. Lost, lost a little bit of time there. <laughs> In case you're wondering why, what's in this safe? This is from a mod.
It is called the Starless Gaze. One second, trying to mod it. In case you're wondering how well it does, it basically fires a unique... Unique laser beam. Similar to the ones used by the... By specifically the Starlet Hologram. Gonna use this. Okay, there's a whole bunch of regulars, so I'll use that. Oh, daytime. That works. Next stop. And we coming up. There we go. Okay, the Saturnite facility, I reckon. Yep. Light switch to upgrade. You must be bloody stupid if you can't hunt for me. down here. No. That's why it's over there. And let's get the starless case again. Sparks. Proton throwing axe. Another one down. Take the sound like this, that's there. One I'll heat up, one I won't. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, Ti. I think that's it for here for right now. Doctor Mobius, surrender yourself. You cannot win despite the fact that the odds are heavily in your favor. Toxins plant. I think that's also where the Sierra Madre cloud came from.
here. Oh, hazmat pod security code. Don't know where that is, but right off the top of my head, but hey. Something for a bit later. Make more stim packs. Oh, that little railing there. And I don't see anything else. Chemical suits. Yep. Thanks a lot, Big Mom, for the for the ghost people. Here's one. Technically, we're already here in the Hexcrete Archipelago. Air discovered. We'll go to X13 just to get it out of the way. I know there's probably something in there, but don't want to. Head in right this second. Yeah, right now we're just gonna explore around, find anything interesting. Ooh, Brock flowers. Okay, the tunnel. Let's go inside it. Ah! Find myself there. Salient Green. Salient Green, it's people. <laughs> no, it's plants. Commencing attack on hostile target. Okay, layer mod. Take all that. Excuse me, everyone. There we go. Nothing. There we go. Nothing else. At least that I know of, anyway. Again, could be wrong.
Back to the future reference. Christine's rifle. Take one of those. Let's go with... Oh! With Hollowmancer. I forgot, actually, I need to double check. Okay, 80, 89. I'm just double checking here because I, I can't remember where that one came from. Okay, deployable hologram emitters. That's a different mod. But I'll take it. Okay, you figured out how to reverse blah blah blah. Might as well. I just did a little bit of tinkering, I see. Ooh. Had, someone had some anger issues. One second, everyone. Okay. Okay, this is also from another mod. Um, basically allows you to place down Sierra Madre um, replicators, as I call them, or vending machines, as they're really called. I don't believe it. After all the work I've helped on those dispenser machines, my name was wiped from the record and all the credit was given to the head scientists. Just because I'm new here doesn't mean that I'm not important. I went to the chief, I confronted him directly, and the next thing I know I got sent here to watch over these Chinese prisoners. They just want me out of their way so I won't make trouble. I know his type, they take all the credit for, away from the little guy, bastard probably cheated his way through college. A new gift. <laughs> I received a gift from the chief today. I, to add insult to injury, injury he does, sent the design model for the dispenser to be placed inside the shackery for storage. Bullshit, he's mocking me and I know it. 
If he thinks that placing me here in this tower overlooking the Chinese prisoners will scare me, he has another thing coming. I'm going to get my sledgehammer tomorrow, smash this thing until the hammer breaks or my hands bleed. Shouldn't be too hard. This is just this is just the empty shell that the machine's look was based off of. Should be hollow inside. Violence does help. Phew, all this pounding has really gotten my blood pumping. I haven't felt this good in a long time. I'm not sure if it's due to the physical activity or perhaps the stress relief, but either way, I came up with an idea for my revenge. Those vending dispensers can assemble anything, provided they have the right raw materials, right? Well, why not just make one cons make one construct another? Now, I can't construct it all at once since the machine is too lar since the machine is too large. I wouldn't be able to fit through the hollow constrictor constructor. And even if it did, I'm sure there's some code that would prevent self-duplication. However, I'm sure that I could separate the duplication file down into three separate files and assemble the parts myself. I know these devices just as much as anyone, so I'm sure I could do it. Good thing I still have this hollow tape with the proprietary code the machine uses. I could use this to use this terminal to make make the files. Eureka! I've done it, made the three files required, and all match fit on a single hollow tape. Now I just need to get over to the Wiser Research Center and use the, one of the vending dispensers there to construct my parts. However, since I have been banned from going there, I have to use the pipes between the cliffs and sneak my way inside. If I hurry, hopefully there will still be one left inside before they get shipped to the Sierra Madre. And... File not found. <laughs> And here's where Elijah was experimenting with with the bomb collars. Okay, next up, Signal Hills Transmitter. Come on. There we go. Trying not to jump, I see, game. Turn on the stuff early. Let's go inside the transmitter. Air styling. Recipe skill book. something on top here. Another layer with upgrades. Let's go for 11 hours here. Oh! 
Oh shit. over there. the vending machine and poor guy died. Oh, corrosive glove. else over here. Oh, there's another package of seeds. Oh. That's the... My aggression is increasing geometrically. Do you hear me, Think Tank? stuff to just simply get in my way. <laughs> Let's get to the... either the botanical garden or the meteorological logical station. Structure site would be for a little bit later. Logical center. You just made my day. Iron Belly. Inversal throwing axe. Just here. Got ourselves a another snow globe.
Ah, uh, need more... need to hydrate more. Yeah, go back this way, go to the botanical garden. Patient Zero of the Spore... of the Spore people. Another Spore Carrier down. Biologic Research Station. Destroy Boom Town for the foreseeable future until weapon testing is resolved. I think the final bag of seeds. Ready to die for your country, you commie son of a bitch! upon my chest. Do 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 do. The Magneto Hydraulics Complex. And there we go, the walking eye. Go. What am I missing? This way? But I think I might got myself a good map for here anyway. I have to cut by the Forbidden Dome. Or Forbidden Zone Dome, whatever. There we go. And you can't get inside. Tail rocking off. <laughs> yeah, I can't get in there yet. Tunnel.
thing here. over here. No, just some mentats. There's one thing over here that I want to take care of. It's not normally normally remembered. Mysterious cave. Just a bloat fly. Sorry, need to stretch there. Hey, welcome back, Yoza. I'm about to pick a stupid fight. <laughs> the legendary bloat fly. Well, that was easy. I honestly thought it was going to be harder. Everything is going fine, Neo, so I'm just right now exploring. Slash getting all the stuff for the sink. Yeah, this way, I think. Yeah, so that's where I was going for. Yeah, it's it likes it's a visual bug I haven't figured out how to fix myself. Ah, there we go. M G R X implant. Oh, finally, some more stim packs. Oh, this gun, by the way, is from a mod called the Starlet's Gaze. Basically, it's the 
you, you, wrote, you saw the Sierra Madre's um, head la um, hologram lasers, right? Well, this is specifically from the the laser projectile itself is from the Starlet Security hologram. The loading station, the waste disintegration platform. Well, we'll just continue on this way. Can't get to Elijah's watch quite yet. I have to go over there first. Out of the loading area, by the way. Ah, I gotta love those lobotomites. Ow. What the? There we go, it's right now fixed. Back to you in a second. Yeah. Right now I got a lot of guns, but right now what did this guy have? I'll never know. Uh oh. Oh shit! Okay, Berserk Securitrons. Big Mountain, I, Dr. Mobius, will soon control you and all of science! Uh, shut up, Dr. Mobius. Actually, shut up, all of you, <laughs> uh, the Think Tank. Chat's fine, though. Chat's fine. 
Actually, I need to take some rat away first. Okay, got muggy. I'm gonna need to go in here. See? <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. See anything here? That's a boss secure trap. And some upgrades to Muggy. Why don't we get back to the Back to where we need, get back to the sink. Boy, those pylons. That's what breaks it. It's me whenever I go to stealth mode. In that case, that's nothing I can fix. Except doing this. Nope. Oh shit. Use the hollow rifle for now. Uh, Elijah's jerry rigged stuff. And you know what? I am just gonna do this. Uh, it was more it's more of a case of accuracy by volume there we go got rid of that I have to remember where that that one researcher died yep right here. Followers doctor got came here before. Shit. <laughs> yep, I am an American. <laughs> Accuracy by volume. <laughs>
Oh! Gauss pistol, that's what it was. Okay, next up. The hazmat testing ground. Well, I don't know. I I the there you I'm just guessing there is. <laughs> oh. Well, cuz I know I'm going to need it. Radix and Papa Radaway. Come on, let me out. There we go. In case you're wondering. One second, I'm trying to... That's not what I wanted. Take that back. Yeah, ghost person attire. The rest of you should try this intercom thing. It makes you sound like some kind of sky god! Let's go to the Pepsinae DNA Splicing Lab. I can't remember if this is the Cazador one or not, honestly. Well, we're about to find out. I'm getting the... Starless Gaze back out. Yep! Cazadors. Just great. Bonus for defense against Kazdors, nice. Specimen 73. And there we go.
Another implant. And also, let's get out of here. Okay, big on tunnel east. Oh, someone's flanking me. I forgot. No, there isn't. Try to leave your dome, think tank, and you will be punished by the pincered might of my Robo Scorpion. Where do I need to go? Oh, we're almost there. Break out the hollow rifle. Our night stalker blood. Create some stim packs. Ammo. Night stalker blood. Reasons. Activate the chemistry set, some more stim packs. There we go. Yeah, I did that because I didn't want to get constantly ambushed by the um, Night Stalkers. I only took rank one. <laughs> A little bit of junk food there. That's it for in here. Okay, now it's just these three buildings here. Yeah, I I do agree. I'm I am a little bit surprised it does affect night stalkers.
I'm sorry, sir, but you Super ego. Oh, I'm a caution. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's go with Energizer. First, I have to do one little thing real quick. See how I does stri stripe. Need a different weapon. Get the hollow rifle. Not the hollow rifle, though. Starless gaze out. Stripe. Kind of need Gapes Bowl. And we'll start from here and go around investigating all these houses. 103. We'll start here. Nothing really interesting down here besides the Ripper. Nitrogen, nothing else. Some bottle caps. Well, that's Boris's base. This is Boris's house. Okay.
else? Science skill book. Well, just so you know, that's from a mod. The stealth suit helmet thing. Sleep here for a little bit and continue on exploring. Next house, 101. Someone has a, has a little bit of a drinker problem. Oh, this is Dr. Klein's ro room. Shoot Love Need to f don't know where the glasses are. We'll find them sooner or later. Next house. Wow, that's a lot brighter. Normally there's supposed to be a whole bunch of knives there, but thanks to my thing. See the loot thing. Well yeah, the loot thing. I don't. Another file for the jukebox. I have that in a bathroom. What did you do? Sleep on a pile of books? Yeah, sleep on a pile of books makes you smarter. Yeah, it won't, it won't hurt your back at all. <laughs> Just so you know, that was sarcasm. Dalla's place. Speech book. It's more make of recipes for books. Box, nice. Anything else am I missing? Another audio sample. Ow. Ah. Okay, I'm getting close to sh um ending stream tonight. 
Just give me one second. I, I, because I have to play ads. I'm sorry about this, folks. Yeah, I'm just tired tonight. No, no f shoulders right now, fine. Okay, I'll be back. We'll continue. I'm sorry I have to play the ads now, but it's getting close to time, and I don't want to be interrupted at the end. So, there, here we go. One oh three, which I think we've already been here. Yep, which means we're done exploring. We'll find out if we've missed anything in after I get the other s other stuff here. What terrors does Big Mountain hold for the intrepid seeker? Really? Does anyone now know? I'm at a loss. Okay, what's... Oh, Proton Axe, okay. And we're going in there for the light switches. Is it light switch? Oh. Did you realize you were behind me? Nor that. Attack on hostile target. Oh, shit. Oh, didn't mean to fall down the side of it. Take the plasma caster, though. It's not cyberpunk. <laughs> now, what was shooting at me? Oh. What do you even have? Oh, an AK 
One, one, two. Yeah, I will have to go back in there for the thing, but right now I want to deliver the... F deliver the stuff to the dome. Usually to the sink. And X2 are your destination, non lobotomite. Can you hear us? You must hurry. No, I can't hear you at all. Speak louder. <laughs> Okay, to the sink. <sighs> well, how about that? Old auto docks back online. Well. Okay, I don't need anything right now. Well. Ah, good day, citizen. Library processing unit 232.7 is online and... Okay, nothing right now. Goodbye. Footballs. Oh, God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up then. Okay, talk to you later. Come back anytime. It's connected to the light bulb. Ooh, oh, yeah, baby. Feels good to be online again. Yeah, all circuits online, ready to receive your seed. Uh, I don't like the pro I like the process of plants. I love it when you talk like that. Let me just get that interface up and running for you. Okay, process seeds into planter. That's all of them. Especially over there, anyway. Next up, light switch. Oh my! Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. Okay, it's not off to leave me light switch with brains and beauty. I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs> oh, well, that's very sweet of you. Maybe one of these nights we can discuss theorems. I'd enjoy that. <laughs> Me too. Hope you can keep up. I work pretty fast. Here, something for you to brush up on. Okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Certainly. I'm looking forward to it. Toaster. <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom. Okay, I'm almost afraid to ask what your function is. You should be afraid. I am the scourge of all small appliances and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. So you murder toasters? Not just murder. I tear them apart and render them down to their base components. Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like. Okay, what else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics. You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! Oh, you mean like this one? Oh, baby. That is a thing of fucking beauty. Give it here. I'll soup it up for you. There you go. Have fun with that. Burn the fucking world for me! Okay, I got some questions. Tremble, you're a toaster. How fearsome can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Okay, why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Okay, well, I'm for one, I'm for one quaking in my boots. Buddy, 
If my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! Okay, I like to change the sub su well, su the subject. I kill you. I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Okay, gotta go now. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! Okay, what's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Get you. And actually, actually I'm coming back. What's the hat? Okay, talk to you later. I can't, I can't get those installed right this second. Mmm, that was a nice little uh, cat nap. How long was I out? Okay, light switch that turns me on. I must be dreaming. I'm only <laughs> doing this for the. I bet you say for that the for EXP. all the light switches. Only the sexy ones. <laughs> now I know you're flirting with me, and it's working. Why don't you take this? To remember me by. Okay, I gotta go. Bye now. And. You! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any mugs? Um, here, take whatever you want. Oh, sweet, sweet fulfillment! I'll break these down for you just as fast as I can. Oh, please, please tell me you Okay, I have, I have a question. Mugs? Why mugs? Why do you want mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh, God, give me the coffee cup, please. It's sitting there in your pack, taunting me. Sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them. It breaks my heart. Okay, you seem really obsessed with them. Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. They programmed me to know that too. Oh. They made me just to torture me. But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jars. Do you know how many coffee cups giant robot brains in jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! Okay, what do you do with the mugs? I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. Okay, let's change the su subject. <laughs> and I gotta go. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with muggy. I get it. So long, pal. Just want to see... Upgrade. What's the haps? Okay, do you play music? <clears throat> yes. Okay, talk to you later. What's the heck? Okay, I'm trying to get the... Okay, I have to continue. Got sound wave files for you. Right. Okay, recalibrate the sonic emitter. Revelation to... The... To the opera singer. Okay, let's see. Shoot it over here. There we go. Yeah. 
you require some addition. Nope. Not right now. Might I be of service, sir? Don't need anything. You've been working with that violin. Talk to you later. Try to make well, sure I have. Hello. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, oh, mostly anyway. Where's X13? Okay. Yeah, e yeah. Each one does a different thing, but I also got a mod that changes the sound for whenever it fires. Like for example, the um, opera singer, as you can hear, it basically the song begin again, just that little tiny bit. Get the X8 kettle key. Oh, I'm going for the. Oh. Oh, I have to get the stealth suit. Oh, might as well. Gloves. Boots. Chest piece. Okay. There we go. Yeah. It's just a little bit too chatty, in my opinion. By seven implant. I'm not doing the stealth suit thing right now. I'm gonna get the get the upgrade stuff. I seventeen. Oh, I have to go to the construction site. I knew I missed one. Also, the stealth suit didn't come with a ha with a helmet. Luckily, this mod solves that particular issue. I 
and let's break out the Starless Gaze. Is there another upgrade here? No, just ammo. Yeah, let me double check what it is now, because I... Okay, yeah, I got the helmet here, this... And you are still classified as medium. Might I be of service? Nope. You require some addition? I just gave you some stuff. Between you and me, I would press her final area against my primary instrument. Panel. I might vibrate. Okay. Greetings, citizen. Hi. Smart How lights. Can I illuminate you? Talk later. Light. Oh, you're back. Did okay, gotta go. And if that's the last one I think it is, yep, it's in the Forbidden Zone, which means I can't get to it right now. And it's time for me to head off, everyone. Oh, one second. Yeah, it's time for me to head off. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. If you liked what you were watching, please hit that heart icon down below to follow. And if you feel like throwing money at me to support me, please subscribe. This is my schedule. Back where I line on Fridays, Battletech Advanced 362 on Mondays, and any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got myself a Twitter account whenever I go live. And I also post whatever th things pop in my mind. There. And I also have a Discord server. As you can see, you could just hang out with me and the others there. There's any other, the others who are there, with all the other floofy-headed wolves. And you can see whenever I go live there as well. Now, before we go, we're going to do a raid. Let me just... Ah! Another person doing... going into... Going it is a big big mountain. Let me just raid Kiak Griffin. There we go. Let me just bring it up on my web browser. Ah. There we go. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there. Good night, everyone.